Hey, how's it going? My name is Justin K. Miller and I live in Denver, Colorado. I have 10 helium hotspot miners in various areas across the city and uh, I have been mining that beautiful cryptocurrency known as H&T with them for a little over two months now. They're earning at this point, I would say somewhere around 2.5 H&T a day. And with H&T uh, being worth about $30 now, that's about $75 a day. So one question I get asked quite often is, is it worth getting into helium hotspot mining here in, well, the winter of 2021? And I think the larger part of that question is, you know, is helium hotspot mining profitable and will it continue to be profitable in 2022? So to try to answer those questions, I'd like to crunch some hard numbers with you based off of my experiences with my current number of helium hotspot miners. And starting with a simple question of how long is it gonna to take to get your return on investment? Return on investment basically means uh, you have X amount that you have spent on both your helium hotspot miner and whatever other uh, equipment that you need to get it up and running where you are. And you want to know how long or how many months is going to take before you get your money back. As well, then you want to know how much money you'll continue to earn after that. So this really depends on a couple factors, one being your location. And we're going to assume in terms of location, you've optimized the situation. In other words, you've put it in the best location possible and you have a good antenna, which I always recommend a 8 dBi omnidirectional rack wireless antenna. Now, what helium hotspot miner you use is going to depend on when you decide to purchase it and because it could take a while with most pre-orders before you get it. Some of you may have Bobcats, some of you may have Rack Wireless. And so uh, I'm gonna say on average, you've probably spent somewhere around $600 for your Helium Hotspot Miner, plus $100 for that antenna and mounting equipment. So let's look at these numbers, assuming you have spent $700. Now, I have a helium hotspot miner downtown in Denver. It's on a second floor, uh, the antenna is next to a window, and honestly, it only earns somewhere around 0.1 HNT a day. So that being said, if HNT is worth $30 uh, and we're doing uh, 0.1, that's $3, right? $3 a day. So enough to get you, uh, uh, two cans of Mountain Dew a day. Now, if you are dealing with $700 investment uh, divided by three, uh, that's gonna take, let's say 233 days uh, to get your return on investment. Or if we average that on a 30, 30 days a month, uh, that is almost eight months. It's gonna take eight months before you get your money, but then after that, you know you can at least buy two cans of Mountain Dew a day, and it won't cost you anything because you're getting it you know, from h and It's too bad you can't pay for those drinks with h and but that's a whole different story. Okay, so eight months. So is it worth it? Is it profitable for you if you're in a downtown area on the second floor? Maybe not. Let's talk about a different situation. Let's say you're close to a downtown area, uh, but you're in the suburbs. So you're in a house, maybe it's just a, a ranch house. Um, you're putting it in the attic, let's say. Uh, and in those situations, I have uh, a couple houses downtown, which they're making, let's say, 0.25. So when we're talking about $30 again, uh, 0.25, so, $7.50 a day. $7.50 a day. Is that is that the the kind of money you were hoping to make with one helium hotspot miner? Well, assuming you do that and let's again go uh $700, right? So you have a $700 investment. Divide that by that 7.5. 
that's uh, 93.3 uh, days. Let's just make that simple enough, which is it's going to take three months. So three months to get your return on investment, but then you're making $7.50 a day. $7.50 a day ends up being somewhere around $2.25 a month. It's not so bad, $2.25 a month. Is that what you're looking for? And that only took three months uh, to pay off what you got. Now, let's put it in a better situation. Uh, you live in an area that is undersaturated. It's not close to downtown. You're in the suburbs. Uh, it, we're still getting good transmit scale. All the houses are great. We're going to assume for a second that you can make at least 0.6. So again, $30. Uh, you're going to be making 0.6 HNT a day. That is $18 a day. That's not bad. That's that's a lunch, right? You can get a free lunch every day. Um, so again, seven hundred dollars divided by eighteen. Uh, that is about thirty nine days. So in less than a month, you live in a good suburban area with a lot of other helium hotspots around you. You all have a transmit scale of one. You could have that helium hotspot miner paid off in a little over a month, and then. You know, have a free lunch every day after that, assuming things stay stable. That's a different story. We'll maybe get to that later. Now, let's say optimal situation. Um, you live on a hill in the suburbs where you have a lot of nice helium hotspot miners around you. Uh, you get a lot of be beacons and witnesses. They're all a transmit scale of one. You have, uh, you can make, let's say, one HNT a day. So we're talking $30 a day. You have, again, a helium hotspot miner you paid $700 for. Uh, you're making $30 a day. So it'll only take 24 days to pay off that helium hotspot miner. And then from there, yeah, you're making $30 a day, which comes out to, on a month average, like $900 a month. Well, that seems pretty good, right? Now, all of that taken into account, where are you in it? Are, are you in the suburbs? Are you surrounded by uh, high transmit scale helium hotspot miners? Are you downtown, maybe in a high rise, thinking you can get that? Except that you're probably gonna get all of the helium hotspot miners around you that have a transmit scale of, well, like 0.1, which is going to reduce the amount of money that you can make. So all I'm saying is really, you know, is it worth getting into helium hotspot mining? It does depend on your location. And then if you're looking at your return on investment first, it depends on how much you are going to pay for that helium hotspot miner. If you're buying it from the manufacturer, uh, that's a great option, assuming you get it sooner than later, because numbers change. If you are buying a helium hotspot miner from a scalper, and instead of paying $600, you are paying $1,200 or $1,800, well, I'm not sure how long it's going to take for you to get your return on investment, let alone how much you're gonna take, make on a month to month basis. And here's the last thing I want you to think about. We're dealing in a situation at the moment, and I'm just talking about the moment, we're not talking about when the helium network really becomes used, but at the moment we're dealing with diminishing returns. There are more helium hotspot miners that are being connected to the network over saturating areas and bringing your number of HNT down uh, every day. So you may be starting at a one. I actually started at the beginning, back in October 2nd, I was making somewhere around 1.6 HNT with, uh, with my system. Just one, one system, the one in my house. Now I'm making maybe 0.4, 
and this is just two months later. So it's hard for you to rely on these numbers. Numbers can change. And that being the case too, well, in the beginning of October, H&T was worth $20. By the end, it was worth 50. And right now it's worth 30. So will you get rich off of helium hotspot mining? Maybe not, especially if you only have one in your house. Uh, if you're doing many like me, might be possible, but it is a long-term plan. Uh, from proof of coverage, probably not. As more people start using the Helium network and we start getting paid for data transfer, well, that's gonna then start depending on who's left standing and uh, what location you're in. But we'll see about that in the future. Until then, I do hope you consider liking and subscribing to this channel if you'd like to know more about helium hotspot mining. And for those who do decide to get into it, well, happy mining.